This is Leanne. This is Lena. Um, so basically what we're wanting to do is pretty much document um, the journey that we're taking right now, which is entrepreneurship. Not exactly sure where we're going, but we're just hoping to just document in real time each uh, one of our moments that we have in this journey uh, and hoping to be able to just look back on it and also hoping to encourage other people who may be taking the same journey um, and just be a source of encouragement. Well, how have you felt since taking this journey? Um, it's definitely been fun to actually imagine and think through what's possible and being able to reflect on what I actually passionate about because for a long time I haven't been able to really know what what I care about and just kind of going with the motions but this has been really impactful in helping me to activate my faith and just like learning to walk with God um, every day. Definitely think uh, some days are easier than others and some days are harder than others. Like today I think I had a little bit more difficulty feeling motivated. And it's just probably because of the Just always wanting to make sure that I'm just making the momentum. Um, just having full faith that this is what we're called to do. Just even in not knowing all the details, just continuing to trust. Just continuing to stretch our faith. Definitely learning how to take baby steps because I usually have an issue with um, trying to do a lot of big things at once. So just encouraging to be happy over like the small things and just have joy in the small moments and not over pressure myself because that's just gonna <laughs> suck all the joy out. So definitely just rejoicing in small things and small ideas that um, I get and that we get and just sharing that with each other and it's just uh, especially fun to be able to do this with um, with you and um, not do it all by myself. <laughs> Hopefully one day we'll be able to look back and just see, just see it all come together. Just hoping to be fully real with ourselves in this season. Um, I think a lot of our life we just always haven't been okay with just being ourselves and always wanting to meet other people's standards or expectations. So just in this season, just wanting to strip that all down and just allow God to rebuild us and really reawaken, um, reawaken those dreams. So we're just hoping to that even through this being able to document it, just seeing our growth um, and just how much more we come into who we've always been and not hiding in our shell any longer. So, so message to you, Gula, and me <laughs> <laughs> that um, this season God is wanting to revive you and um, just wanting you to dream again. And I hope that us doing this will also be able to encourage other people who have gone through similar walks where just the storms of life have kind of buried you and kind of made you hide yourself away and not being fully who you are and, know who, and who you know you can be. And I hope that also for those who are taking this leap of faith into entrepreneurship too, we'll be able to have a community here to walk alongside with as you journey, because I know it's definitely not a easy, easy journey. This whole journey is basically just discovering myself again, discovering ourselves again, and just, um, just being real with the process and like just being completely, or just basically in the journey, just in us re-embracing ourselves, that will bring a lot of healing to ourselves and encourage other people to embrace themselves again. So. And I guess just the whole inspiration behind this, I'm taking this journey was when a couple weeks ago when we were just continuing to dream up what this entrepreneurship journey looks like. Uh, we were just like diving deeper into scripture and in my spirit. I was just recalling the miracle of the little girl being resurrected and just really sensing that that's what God is wanting to do with us just throughout our lives, how we've 
experienced rejection and uh, people always like belittling us. So specifically Luke 9 verse 54 says that then Jesus took her by the hand and said in a loud voice, my child, get up. And at the moment her life returned and she immediately stood up. Then Jesus told uh, them to give her something to eat. And so just with us, we always been, um, cause we look younger than we are. <laughs> We've always been calls little girls or just, it would just be like kind of a- Derogatory. Yeah. And so how, how God gave it to me was he was using the very thing that people mocked us about or yeah, just using the very thing that um, people try to bury us under and or reject us um, by using that term. Um, he's using that very thing to revive us. So um, just hoping this journey is just one of healing and that we can be able to bring others along with us. So I'm definitely excited for what will take place because we don't know what's going to happen, but just um, that's what's exciting about a faith walk. You don't know every step of the way, but it's just it just gives you energy just being on the lookout for what is possible and just not putting any limitations on ourselves and um, just or just pretty much seeing where this could go and not allowing fear to drive the journey either, but just allowing faith to be at the center of it. And we used to also have a YouTube channel when we were in high school and we did a lot of like comedy and skits with that, but we um, just along the way just went through a lot of um, trauma and stuff where we kind of just kind of shut ourselves off and just kind of shut down our channel just because we uh, it was just a really hard season and we um, just kind of put that dream to rest and didn't ever really think of pursuing it any longer um, just because we were just always so concerned about what others thought of us but just feeling that in this season that we're wanting to reawaken that and that's something that God wants us to um, live out again and just be able to dream again.